Hi, everyone. My name is Emily, and I am the program coordinator here at the Net Clay Project. And my colleague Sophia is here, and she's going to give a short presentation on what Net Clay is and how it might be able to help you or somebody you know. Take it away, Sophia. Thanks, Emily. So good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sophia. I'm here on behalf of Tetra Society as the Net Clay Project Coordinator. So for today, I'll first be talking about Tetra Society, which is the organization that we all work for, as well as NetClay, and just a little bit about how it works. So Tetra Society is a nonprofit organization that helps people with physical disabilities to achieve independence in their life. We have 30 chapters across North America, and Emily and I are from the Vancouver office. So Tetra has volunteers that work one-on-one -on -one with individuals to create a customized solution for them. If you take a look at the middle picture here, may notice that someone, we had a client that lost his arm, but he wanted to learn how to play the guitar. So with the help of our volunteers, we created a 3D printed arm extension to allow him to continue play, playing the guitar. This is just one example of this, one of the solutions that we create for our clients. So following through with Tetra's mission to provide affordable solutions in our community, we received funding from the government last year to develop and market an affordable customized advice that allows people to gain access to the computer with, mo with limited mobility uh, functions. So our name is pronounced Net Clay. So really our mission is to help people with mobility limitations to connect to the digital world with our device. So what is Net Clay? Net Clay is a user-friendly, customizable device that enables people with a range of mobility limitations, more specifically in their arms, wrist and hands to independently operate a computer. So here I'll be showing a short video about what NetClay is about. NetClay is a device that translates what you can do to what you want to do. NetClay is the first access method device that is affordable and customizable. Users with varying degrees of mobility are able to tailor inputs to their exact needs, allowing them to interact with their computers by plugging in one or more sensors or switches that they are able to manipulate. And by using open source software and inexpensive hardware, NetClay is available at an accessible price. From a single button to joysticks and gyros, users no longer have to consider their barriers. They can consider the possibilities. Please visit us at netclay.ca to explore the possibilities and start your journey with Netclay. So as the video mentioned, Netclay is a programmable hub that serves an that has lots of different peripherals and alternatives that serve as a, a alternative for the traditional computer mouse, as you see here. So we found that a lot of people with uh, mobility uh, limitations may have difficulty pressing the traditional keys or scrolling with this mouse. That's why we have NetClay. So if you take a look at my screen here, this is what the NetClay device looks like. It's a very compact design, about the size of my palm here, and super lightweight. We also have various peripherals that you can attach onto the NetClay. For example, this is our large joystick. So I've secured it here with two rubber bands just for more bandwidth here, just to make it easier to navigate. So this is the wrist cradle that you'll be using. For people that may not be able to do any kind of gripping, this is super easy to use. We also have a regular joystick here for people that want to use their fingers. And we have various touch sensors as well. So this is the dual touch sensor here. The regular touch sensor. And we have the mini touch sensor. So these touch sensors are really designed for people that may not be able to apply to a lot of pressure on their fingers, for example. This is very sensitive touch and can use it, for example, clicking or scrolling. So there's three different types because we found that a lot of people have different preferences. So it's really, uh, they all operate as the same way. We also have the button switch here. It's more of a clicking, so it does require a little bit of pressure. And lastly, we have the gyroscope here. This is our one of our more complex peripherals. So you simply secure it to either a pair of glasses, a hat, a headband, or like a headphone, for example, and you can use your head motion in order to move the cursor. 
This is designed for people that may have limited motor functions from the shoulders downwards. So you simply attach it and you can move your head up, down, left, right, and the cursor do as follows. So as I mentioned, NetClick can perform a variety of computer functions such as moving the cursor up, down, left, or right. You can also do right or left clicks, drag and drop, as well as scrolling. So something really cool and unique about NetClick is you can use them in combinations. For example, you can use the joystick to move the cursor, have the touch sensor for a click and the dual touch sensor for the scrolling. So now I'll just be giving a short live demonstration on how the, uh, the joystick with the wrist cradle works. So if you take a look at my screen here, I have my NetClear device and I have my USB port here. So it's already attached to my computer. So I simply plug it in like this. and it'll turn green once it's activated. I also have my joystick here. So take a look at my screen here on the NetClick website. I'll be using my wrist. So I'll be closing my wrist to kind of simulate if someone may have limited motor functions in their fingers and want to use primarily their wrist. So to go up, it's like this, up, down. So as you can see, I'm playing very minimal pressure, but it is moving very smoothly. Move left, and you can move right. You can also do a left click here. Simply tilt your arm to the left. You can hear a sound that indicates your left click. And if you want to do a right click, simply tilt your wrist to the right. And that's another sound. If you want to exit out of the right click, simply left click again. And there you go. So it's just one of the functions that we do for our joystick, but it can program to whatever you like. So here I have some testimonial videos of clients that have used NetClay in the past. On the left, we have Tim, who's a disability rights advocate. He uses NetClay in order to surf through his numerous emails for work. And on the right, we have Omar, he has a spinal cord injury, which basically means from the shoulders downwards, he has very limited motor functions. So he relies on Nekla's gyroscope in order to do his creative work as a graphic designer. So now I'll just be showing Omar's video. Hi, my name is Omar. I'm a graphic designer, graduate from BCIT, and I use Netplay. Not just as a designer, but also as a millennial, I'm trying to catch up with technology Imagine doing that with the high level of disability. Netplay pretty much helped me up to control my computer. How many people you know using their mouse by moving their heads? The cool thing about Netplay is you can mold it based on your need. Like I use different devices with it. So some people in my situation, especially uh, spinal cord injuries, they always try to find adaptable technology. And having Netplay on the table, it's, it's amazing. I highly recommend it. So for NetClay, we are currently in the product testing phase, which means we're looking for clients to try out the NetClay and provide us some feedback about their experience with it. So how does this process work? So clients first sign up for a NetClay on our website. They will then participate in an assessment appointment with their occupational therapist and technician on Zoom. This is where we talk to them about what kind of functionalities they're looking for with their computer, such as moving the cursor or just simply clicking. This is also where we help recommend some peripherals that we think will best help uh, suit their needs and help them achieve their goals. Once the assessment is complete, we will then schedule an installation appointment when the device is shipped out to them. So the installation appointment is when we walk them through on how, how to install the device on their computer and just answer any questions. Over the next two to three months, we'll just be following up with them to really hear about their experience and just gather some feedback. As a token of the time, clients will be able to keep the necklace completely free after the after the both appointments. So far, we have given out over 150 necklaces, but we are still looking to give out another 150 in order to further improve the quality and experience of our necklace for the clients.
Of course, with COVID-19, we had to shift our operations significantly. We used to go into people's homes in order to do the assessment installation, but now we have pivoted to doing everything over Zoom to ensure the health and safety of all their clients. We ask that clients have a friend, a family member, or a caregiver present to help them in install the uh, necklace when it arrives. We recognize that social distancing can make it incredibly difficult, especially with people with uh, mobility limitations, to stay connected in the digital space. That's why we're working incredibly hard in order to get necklace in the hands of as many people as possible that we believe can benefit from it. If you happen to know someone that can benefit from necklace, please direct them to our website and they can sign up there. The form is super quick and takes on less than five minutes to fill out. You can also call us directly and we can help you fill out the form from there. There's a question in our form to ask, where'd you hear about Neckley? If you put in the organization you're with, this is incredibly helpful as this is how we track all the referrals. If you'd like to learn more about Neckley, please feel free to visit our website at neckley.ca. I've also listed out our phone number and emails if you have any specific questions. We're always happy to help you and we respond very quickly. Thank you so much to, for listening to my presentation today and my colleague Emily and I can now take any questions you have. Thank you, Sophia. So if you are interested, the next steps are to go to the website, as Sophia said, at netclay.ca and fill out a form, and then I will contact you directly uh, to set up an assessment, which again is done via Zoom with one of our technicians and occupational therapists, and assessments take about an hour. We are trying to have all assessments done before the 15th of March. So tight timeline, if you have any questions or prefer to communicate on the phone, that's my direct line there, 236-996-8110. And then I think that Michelle is going to pass along any questions that come after this stays up live on the page. So we're good to go. And if you're not with any sort of organization and you want to put uh, where you heard about Netclay from, you can put other in the form and then just put uh, Facebook Live. That would be great. So we know that you're listening to us from here. 